M0 FXB, let's show you how to load a new repeater list to your Kenwood D75 using the SD card. So I would definitely make a backup of your radio before doing this. If you've never put an SD card in your device, just get yourself an SD card just like this. Mine's about 16 GB. And then in the side here, it's a bit fiddly. I got tweezers here to make it a bit easier. But you just pop it in there, I know it's not the easiest to see this, gold part facing forward and just click it into place, obviously do it when the radio is turned off, not like me leaving it on, so I just quickly turn it off. Pop it into place and then turn it on. Okay, that's in. And then I would format it. So you go menu, select the SD card, and then you can just go to the bottom there in the middle, enter in the middle, go down to format, and then execute, and then OK. So by formatting, you add all the files that you're going to need. OK, exit. Now I will say, Click OK. That normally a factory reset is going to add all your repeater list anyway. And to factory reset, you just go menu, settings, system, and then reset. Okay, I'm not going to do it now, but look, reset. But you will lose everything. So again, um, we're going to go back here. Again, make a backup whether you're using your software. Or, or uh, you could be using the RT Systems ETC. So how are we going to get our list from from um, from Kenwood? Go here on the left, and you'll see here they've provided a list, repeater list. So if we click that, it downloads it straight away to my download folder here. So we've got our list already. If you right-click it and go Show in Folder, it's going to show you that the, you know, the list, there it is there. So if we now turn off the radio, take out the SD card, like I said, you need tweezers to do this if you ask me. We've got here, there's our card, pop it into our adapter, which I've got ready. Just here, I'm gonna put that into my PC. Now, as soon as I put that into my PC, look, it's come up with the folders and one of them's called Kenwood, okay? Double click Kenwood and click it again and you're looking for repeater list. If we double click settings and double click repeater list, you'll see that it's blank. So then we go back to that folder. Remember, we're gonna drag it onto it like so. Drag it down, let go, and it goes into repeater list. And if we go back, by clicking the up arrow here, there's repeater list, double click it, and you can see it's there. So let's grab, now grab, take the SD card out of the PC. Okay, grab our SD card, open up the side, and it goes to the front, remember, and it's turned off, and then turn it on, bottom button. And then we're just going to go menu over to the SD card, select it, import, repeater list only, and there it is there, enter, data for DHD75E, that's what we want, you've got the A model America, and then you've got one for 75, that could be Japan I suppose, but mine is the E model, enter, it's loading, and now you have your... Okay, well thanks for watching, you now have a repeater list, 73.